So if you've been following my channel over the past few months, you'll know I've talked about this man, Lance McDonald, who essentially hacks PS4 games and kind of shows you aspects of those games that you wouldn't normally see. This is his YouTube channel right here. A lot of his content has revolved around PT and showing off things like what it's like to actually walk the Silent Hills sort of town shown at the end of PT, which looks something like this. This is pretty incredible stuff the cutscene at the end is actually you know fully uh, rendered a cutscene at the end actually happens in game it is all in engine stuff and so with this neat hack he was able to kind of just survey everything that the developers built for that particular cutscene which might give us a glimpse of like what Silent Hills could have been more recently, he uh, went ahead and hacked PT in such a way that allowed him to move the camera around and see some unseen behavior from Lisa, the creepy sort of uh, spectral entity that follows you around throughout PT. And it's some really interesting stuff that I wanted to highlight. If you want to watch this video in its entirety, go to Lance McDonald's uh, YouTube channel. Uh, he just makes really interesting videos that shows you sort of some tricks and uh, little Easter eggs maybe and certain things you may have never expected. So as far as this video goes, let's first go to 1 minute and 50 seconds. So in PT, uh, there is a sequence where you do see Lisa up in the overlook in the second floor and she kind of looks down at you and then walks away and you never get to see what happens after that. Uh, and how that effect is played out. Well, this is something that this video shows. Lance McDonald went ahead and kind of pulled the camera up to the second floor and showed us what happens up there. By moving ourselves with flashlight in hand up into an area we're never meant to be able to reach, we get a clear view of what exactly Lisa is doing throughout this entire scene. So, um, wow, look at that, Lisa, showing some leg. So here's another angle of that happening. So from the player's perspective, it just looks like she walks away and then disappears. But this is the trick that the developers of this game use to kind of provide that effect from a bottom to top angle. So from the player's perspective, it will look something like this. Right, she just seems like she walks away in a creepy fashion. So at this point, we've had a somewhat. That's it. But taking the camera up there, you can see uh, just exactly what happens. It's a very uh, bizarre effect. Show some leg, and then bye bye. Along with a look at this particularly bizarre. And behavior, interestingly enough, look. upstairs there's not a lot of detail because the player is not meant to go up there. So it's just this kind so of uh, empty to room. What the second story landing has been realized by the developers. So that makes sense, uh, given that's not an area players are meant to access. Next up, uh, so there's a sequence where uh, you hear a noise in the bathroom, you peek inside, and Lisa shuts the door. She shows her face for a brief second and then shuts the door. And uh, that sequence uh, looks something like this. Right? But as for what happens inside the bathroom during that sequence, well, Lance McDonald found out by moving the camera inside the bathroom uh, while this We've happens. We've given a brief by taking a look at how this plays out from within the bathroom. We can see what's happening from a more revealing perspective. So yeah, uh, this is definitely more of a, an illusion, a visual trick. They just briefly pop Lisa in there. Um, so that players see her face and then the character model disappears. So it's just one of those tricks that developers use uh, in order to create a certain visual effect. Uh, but when you look behind the scenes, uh, you kind of get to see how the magic trick works, if you will. But from the outside perspective, you know, it looks fine, right? It just looks like Lisa pops in very briefly, shuts the door. But when you look at how developers achieve this, yeah, they don't really need to add too much detail to the sequence because it's such a brief thing and players are not meant to look inside the bathroom while that's happening. But it's interesting to see how, like, developers create these visual illusions in order to 
create the most efficient kind of development time possible because if you were to detail this entire sequence and really fully animate it, it would just be wasted time. So just doing this kind of mitigates the development time, uh, but still creates the, uh, the effect that you want. Next up, Lance details how at one point in the game, when you pass this light right here, you get to see a second that shadow that is kind of twitching and acting really As weirdly we so you can see that happen hallway, right here it begins to cast a new shadow from behind and the shadow pops up right around there so you can see it's like it very much looks like lisa doesn't it and the head's twitching you hear the noise the uh, that kind of ugh, creepy breathing but when the player turns around, as he'll show right here, it doesn't seem like there's anything back there. And any investigation suggests that nothing is really there. But Lance found a way to make it so that he can turn the camera, but the game doesn't track the player character turning around. So uh, that allows him to actually look at what's actually back there. So here is that hack in action. Or there's really anything there. Why are you turning so slowly? Makes it creepier. And there it is. That's <laughs> Lisa just floating in the air and creating this shadow effect. It's a clever visual trick using the the light here to have that shadow. Um, and I would surmise that this would be even more detailed in terms of animation if uh, developers, new players would find a way to turn the camera around and hack the game. Um, but this is still detailed enough, you know, but I mainly it seems like this was done to create that shadow effect, this right here. Um, so indeed Lisa is actually behind. But it, this is still really creepy, she's kind of floating, it almost looks like she's like hanging almost, you know, like by the neck or something. The entirety of this particular and team. like convulsing, oh god, it's so weird. But also just really cool to see stuff like this, stuff you'd never really think of because the developers do such a good job in hiding some of the tricks of the trade, if you will. And Lance also details how when you gouge out the eye on this picture, Lisa disappears immediately. And in the game, you'll notice that after you activate this uh, picture frame, the shadow disappears. And the reason for this is, you can see when he activates this, Watch what happens here. And she's... Gone. Right there. But perhaps most compelling of all is Lance's discovery uh, shown at 6 minutes and 37 seconds. So at one point in PT, uh, the player character picks up a flashlight inside the bathroom, after which uh, the door locks. The bathroom door closes and locks, and you start hearing footsteps outside. And initially, you would think that it's just all audio effect, that there's nothing really going on outside because there'd be no point in animating what's happening outside because you never get to see uh, from that perspective. But turns out uh, there are aspects of that that have been animated with Lisa actually roaming the hallway as all of this is happening, so check we this out. We initially find the flashlight on the bathroom floor. The door slams shut, locking us inside. So that's what happens. We hear something happening in the hallway outside. So right there, you can start hearing door opening, like a creak, and then footsteps. And with the baby crying, super creepy. And that happens, the door, right? The handle starts being handled. And it's like somebody's trying to like open the door and get in. That all seems like it's audio effects only, but there is some visuals that occur outside that has never been seen before. This is what happens while you're in the bathroom and the baby's crying and you and after you pick up the flashlight. Lisa opens this door and there's this unique animation going on. Where she's just super creepily walking towards the bathroom door. And then you see the uh, door animation and sound effects happening there to make it seem as though somebody's trying to break in. Now, this 
aspect isn't fully animated uh, because, well, uh, Kojima and team probably didn't expect players to be able to peek outside. But the fact that there is any animation for Lisa at all, the fact that there is a character model out here doing something is kind of extraordinary and kind of something nobody knew about or expected. Now, the team could have gone the extra mile and possibly animated it to make it look like Lisa's, like, actually, you know, trying to open the door. Uh, right here, Lisa's just kind of frozen in place and the door's doing its thing. But again, um, there's no need to do that. There's no need to put development time into that. It would be a waste of time given that this is not really something players are meant to see. But then I have to wonder, why put Lisa out here at all if players would have never seen this anyway? Um, maybe they were planning to do something with this. Maybe it was just something that was kind of cut at the last minute, and so the animation wasn't fully finished. Something along those lines. Or it's just a neat little detail that they added in case players hacked the game and somehow managed to peek outside. I don't know, any number of possibilities, but Please very interesting and compelling nonetheless. As I was so to and then Lisa the at the end just kind of disappears. Capture it from every possible perspective. And this is just another angle that uh, he decided to show this playing out. And yeah, not the most detailed animation. So that's pretty much uh, the core things that were highlighted in Lance McDonald's latest video. Uh, again, check out his channel for the full thing. Uh, he edited this video really well, and it kind of really creates a creepy atmosphere. And if you follow him on Twitter, he'll post about this stuff. He'll uh, talk a bit about how he managed to achieve this. But, you know, he also managed to find out things like how the character model used for the protagonist is, in fact, Norman Reedus's uh, character model, the character scene at the end of PT in that uh, teaser trailer. He also uh, detailed uh, back in September 2019 about how Lisa constantly follows you around. Whenever you see a shadow that isn't yours, it's probably Lisa uh, just stalking you, essentially, which is really cool. And finally, he also did a hack on God of War that uh, not only revealed what occurs when, say, um, Kratos and uh, Baldur meet for the first time and some of the cool visual tricks that are used to achieve this whole cutscene this whole effect from the player's point of view. Uh, he also discovered that when, at the end of that battle, when Kratos throws Baldur off the cliff, uh, there's this thing that animators, I guess, left there as a joke, perhaps, uh, where if you zoom in on Baldur's character model, which looks like this after it's been thrown off because the camera pans away from the cliff and players would never see this, so developers don't need to detail this all that much. Uh, he found that, uh, yeah, <laughs> Boulder is just flipping you off with both fingers. And just little things like that that Lance discovers. It's kind of uh, the core of his content, and I think it's just really fascinating and interesting to see what you would normally never see. And Corey Barlog uh, responded by saying, nice work, Lance. He doesn't seem to mind players kind of um, looking at... What goes on behind the, the curtains, if you will, backstage, in a manner of speaking. Uh, great job to Lance. Uh, really fascinating stuff. And yeah, let me know in the comments below what your thoughts and opinions are on Lisa's unseen behavior. Some of the weird and creepy shit she does throughout the game and behind the scenes. And some of the tricks that the developers employ to give Lisa a certain visual effect from the player's point of view. Drop a comment below, and to be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews, and discussions, stay tuned right here on Young Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Young out.